Okay, today we're talking about Flexoril. Uh, it's a muscle relaxant. You're going to learn some more, but this presentation is done by myself, Brendan, and my boy Seth. So here we go. Flexoril is an autonomic nervous system drug. The therapeutic class is it's a skeletal muscle relaxant and it is centrally acting. It has the reduction of tonic somatic motor activity influencing both gamma and alpha motor systems, and it is pregnancy risk category B, which means it is not expected to be harmful to an unborn baby. So if a woman is pregnant, it is going to be okay for her to be on Flexero. For the dosages of Flexero, you are going to be taking it typically three times a day. It will three to four days for your body to reach a steady state, for your body to maintain that therapeutic level while constantly taking um, Flexeril as prescribed. It is very important to take it as prescribed, and we will talk about some side effects that could change if you do not follow your guidelines prescribed to you by your physician later in this PowerPoint. Indications of Flexeril is pretty standard. It is an adjunct to rest and physical therapy, not something that you'll find relief just on its own, but it is going to be a relief of muscle spasm associated with acute musculoskeletal conditions, as well as a treatment for spasticity. Like I stated earlier, it is important to take this medication as prescribed to you by take it with a full glass of water and you don't have to worry about whether or not it's with a meal or without it can be taken with or without food um, store at room temperature and if you miss a dose take as soon as you remember if it is getting close to a time where you're approaching your next dose skip the one that you missed and then take your next one as prescribed you don't want to be taking one and then a few minutes later or even 30 minutes later taking your next one because that can lead to some toxicity and some unfortunate side effects as will be discussed later in this presentation. As far as precautions and contraindications, do not take if you are on an MAOI within the last 14 days. There's also various heart conditions that you should be addressing with your physician prior to being administered this drug. Um, you also want to tell your doctor if you notice any problems with urination, enlarged prostate, glaucoma, or liver di disease prior to or while taking this drug. In our second study, we looked at Flexeril, and in this case, it was examined to determine the toxic range of Flexeril. They did a case study where a male attempted suicide and ingested about 30 pills. He was taken to the ER and had his stomach pumped, and in that case, they were able to remove about 10 of the pills, but they continued to monitor him and placed him on many fluids to help flush the system. Uh, Flexeril at elevated levels can cause an elevation in arterial blood gases, liver function, and creatine kinase levels. And then depending on the amount ingested, it can cause anticholinergic symptoms. And in severe, severe cases, and just like in this one, um, though he did not have, you can see respiratory failure and ventricular tachycardia. But in this case, they did notice some symptoms of rhabdomyolysis. So it is important to emphasize the fact that your patients should be taking Flexeril as prescribed and not doubling up on doses 
Um, doubling up on doses might not lead to the severe issues, but it can be a problem and it should be one that your patients are aware of and cautioned towards.